Good morning, everyone. No one speaks a word of English. Just need to guess what are we eating. You know what is that? I have no idea. Very, very good. It really tastes like ox watch. Yesterday we arrived in the province of Trang. We went to the city center because we had to come here to go to Komuk, our final destination. And we checked in a hotel in the city center, went to the market after the whole day of traveling. And now Trang is famous for its breakfast. They eat dim sum here for breakfast, which is very funny for me. But we are now trying out a restaurant that was recommended by the hotel. So this nice guy will drive us to the restaurant, to our dim sum restaurant. Beautiful day. What's really funny here in Trang is that there are no tourists here. Almost not. We didn't see any tourists. We're the only tourists on this market and everyone is looking at you. Uh, but everyone is so friendly. I really thought that everyone was really, really friendly. And what is trying this? to understand what they are saying. This? I don't know. <laughs> Do you have dim sum? Guys, you are a bit confused here, but this, they say this is the dim sum. The thing here is that no one speaks a word of English, so we just need to guess what are we eating. And we ordered a bunch of stuff, but we have no idea what's inside. So, this is what we have now. You know what is that? I have no idea. Good? It's actually pretty good. This one? What? This staying here? Also don't know what it is. But it's actually very, very good. It tastes like um, fertura in Portugal. So, I'm gonna try something like this. Bao yeah. with, um, with uh, mm. bean, beans. The beans. It's really good. It's really sweet. Sweet? Yeah. But it's very good. I'm gonna try this. Not try a little bit. I don't like beans. But it doesn't taste like beans at all. It's nothing to do with beans. It doesn't taste like beans. Here's our dip sum. Don't they eat like with soya sauce or something? Yeah, next dim sum. <laughs> good? Pretty good. Good. This is something with eggs. Mm. It's very good. Very, very good. It really tastes like ox watch. It's funny, we are really, again, the only tourists here in this restaurant. The only so, whatever. let's guess the price. What, how much do you think it is? We had like uh, eight dim sum, two, three coffees, and uh, five other dishes. How much do you think it is? 300 bucks. 300 bucks? Which is like seven, seven eight euros? Yeah. I would say 250 bucks. So, conclusion, it was actually very, very good. The only thing is that everything you eat is very, very unhealthy. And honestly, I love uh, just eggs and avocado for breakfast. So, it was an experience. We changed to a car now, and we're going to the hotel to pick up our bags, and then go to the pier. So, this was our room. We paid like 30 euros, around 30 euros, so I think it was quite good. This bed was so comfortable. 
and here is the bathroom and now we are leaving to Komuk So our taxi driver just educated us on the population and the ethnicity here in Trang and apparently there are 80% of uh, Chinese people which is very interesting and yeah and that's why probably they have this Tim Sun <coughs> culture and uh, there's a lot of things written in Chinese I also realized now um, looking back it makes a lot of sense and there's only 15% of the population is Thai and 5% are Muslims, he said. So if you're thinking about coming to Komuk or to one of the islands in the province of Trang, most probably you will have to go through Trang and you can stay there. And I really would recommend you to stay in Trang for a night in the city center. It's, a, it's an interesting city with a lot of culture. So we had to choose between, uh, we had two options. One option was a private boat for 700 baht and the other option is a local boat for 150 baht per person. So 300 baht against 700 baht, but the local boat we would have to wait until 11, which is one and a half hour. So we decided to take the private boat and pay a little bit more. So this guy is now going with the kayak to grab our boat. Just arrived in paradise. Our boat is right at our hotel. So we've arrived in our destination in Komuk in Sivalai. The hotel is called Sivalai Beach Resort. We just checked in, we need to wait now for our room. We're having a coffee here. Quick coffee. Bruna's very happy. It's really beautiful. The first impression is it's really really beautiful. There are not a lot of people here. The beaches are pretty empty. Now it's also low tide. It's not that nice to swim. But still, the sand is white, it's very soft, and there are almost no people here. And now we are planning the next days. Tomorrow we are going to this cave. <clears throat> it's pretty um, famous, this cave. So you basically swim through a tunnel and into the cave. And it looks really, really beautiful. I'm really excited for this. And we're also planning to maybe do a dive here, go for a dive. Let's see, it's pretty expensive. We checked the prices. For one uh, one person, it's around three and a half thousand baht. That's uh, pretty expensive. It's like 80 euros. And yeah, we will see if we do that. I really want to see these dugongs, these huge animals. They're very cute, and I would love to see them. Today we're going to rent a scooter and drive around the island and explore the island and go for the sunset bar and it will show you the island and show you the different areas, restaurant, beaches, etc, etc. One thing I'm struggling here is to eat healthy because honestly I'm really tired of all the fried uh, food and now I'm like very happy to see a grilled fish, some rice and veggies. I have to say that the healthy food here is always like double or triple the price. A few moments later
it's not a road. Not a road. Fresh coconut. So good, my god. Sweet, fresh. Water here is so warm. So, first impressions of um, Komuk. It's a hidden paradise, basically. I think it's not that commercial, right? Not a lot of tourism, still like a secret little paradise. The water is just so, it's clear, beautiful, and warm. Super warm so so warm it's like the 30 degrees temperature minimum have these limestones and they make it even more beautiful communication here is also a bit more difficult because they don't speak english but people are so nice so you can anyway communicate some way and my god this is so, you know like th this place it was a place i was hoping to go and i had many high expectations so unbelievable how it exceeded my expectations of how beautiful this is yes what a view my god this is my dream really my fruits amazing view so to sum this up, Trang City was a very interesting experience and Komuk is just a literal paradise with not a lot of tourists. There will be a second episode of Komuk with more footage of this paradise. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.